welcome back to a new vlog. So the footage that you guys saw before was actually filmed on Sunday. I went on an adventure with my best friend Marissa and her family and they took us to a really beautiful scenery overlook in West Virginia. It was stunning. I told her it was like one of the most uh, like most beautiful view like that I've seen with my own eyes in person you know what I mean sometimes we can look at things like online or we can see pictures of places that are really stunning and beautiful but it does not compare to being able to see it in person so it was really fun and was super happy that we got to go hang out with them for the day and it was a really fun adventure we took Cole along he had a great time um, it was a little scary with him but I made him hold my hand like the whole time we was there um, so he was he was pretty good though honestly for the most part he was just being a little boy you know and was excited and yeah today we are just kind of uh, I've been working honestly all morning on a cleaning video for you guys that is I'm thinking about uploading today today is Halloween by the way so happy Halloween um, we're going to retreating tonight with I'm going with my mom and my aunt we're gonna take Cole my husband's staying behind which is fine with him he's not real big on going to do that anyways which is fine that's what we're, our plan is tonight but we actually got to get ready here we only have like um, a short amount of time before we have to leave here like maybe another half an hour we have to go pick Cole up from school today and take him down to a doctor's appointment we're getting a referral um, just to go get him uh, tested he's a little bit behind in school um, I don't want to say like a whole bunch of stuff um, I've been like back and forth on this on my channel guys for like years. I knew a long time ago I used to share like all the details, especially after Cole was like born. I used to do those like, you know, baby updates every single month on Cole and those were like really fun. But then in like 2020 there was this whole thing on the internet about family vloggers and um, about exposing children and keeping their privacy and all that. And I just, I have really cut back on what I share with you guys about Cole. I uh, still share like a little bit of him because I just know that there's so many of you guys that's watched for like years and then my grandparents is like the number one reason why I even show him at all is because they just look forward to when I post the vlog they can see Cole on the vlog and I don't over share him anymore um, and I really try to not share everything about his life you know because he's a little kid and one day if he wants to make the decision to be online and that's his choice one day but right now um, I just show and share a little bit so uh, I don't know guys I don't see the problem with just like casually showing your child but then I know there's so many people against it so I uh, like I said I just share a little bit so we're just gonna take him we need to get a referral for him today um, like I said from him being behind like from him having his surgery which I did share with you guys because that was like a pretty big event that he had to have done and I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on uh, with him in that department but for years Cole was de speech delayed and uh, we decided to uh, well, come to find out he needed ear tubes and his tonsils removed and his adenoids removed and he's doing a lot better guys he's doing so well and I wish we could have done this like years ago you know I wish we would have like <laughs> been able to convince enough doctors that we went to that this is what he needed and I think it made a huge difference in him talking now he's talking almost completely normal now which I know is from that because right after we got the surgery he started talking like really good and stuff so I just think his hearing was muffled and I think it set him behind so now he's in kindergarten and he just got his report card and like um, he did pretty good honestly but like he's just not exactly where other kids are and that's totally fine guys every child is different um <laughs> and yeah we're going to take him to get a referral just to kind of get him like a, the school recommended you know to get tested for any autism or anything which i don't believe he has but it doesn't matter even if he does it doesn't matter so but we just want to go rule that out completely so that's what we're doing today and then we're going to go trick-or-treating tonight and um, that's pretty much it I brought down all the Christmas stuff from the attic today a while ago that I had up there but that doesn't count all of it because the rest of it's in the shed in my totes which I'm gonna have my husband get tomorrow 
Uh, tomorrow I'm going to start my Christmas decorating. Um, I did pick up the other day while we went out. I got some garland here that's either going to go. I wanted to show it to you guys because I thought it was like really pretty. But I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby. And it has these little balls. Uh, like they look like little snowballs on it. And then it's like this really light, almost like mint green color with some glitter all over it. So I got these long garland strands. I'm not really sure, guys. This is why I don't like to go pick things up at the store. <laughs> and guys, I live like an hour and a half away from any kind of store to go to, which sucks that I live that far away from like Hobby Lobby and all those, you know, places that people like to shop at. But, uh, I was there so we don't go there you know too often and I was there and I wanted to get a couple things because I don't know when we're gonna go back and I don't like to decorate for you guys and not have everything I need because I gotta make a video right so like I don't like to decorate my house and film it and then realize oh I really needed something for this spot or I really needed something for that spot the issue I have is is I can't ever remember what I have and what I should do is I should before I buy anything, I need to start, like, trying to plan better and just lay out all my Christmas stuff and literally see what I need. But it's still kind of hard to even do that because I don't know where I'm putting each piece of my decor every year because I like to switch it up. So it's hard for me <laughs> to just figure all this out. It's, like, stressful almost a little bit. But I love decorating. You guys know. I'm obsessed. I love... This is like really the biggest holidays that I decorate for is fall and Christmas. And I just, I love going all out, especially for those two holidays. So I've been trying to incorporate new pieces every year. Um, but yeah, I got these. And then I also got some pillows, which were for the couch. Because I could have swore, guys, that I did not have any pillows for our couch last year. I was wrong. I found pillows in the attic for the couch from last year. So... That sucks, but I don't have any Christmas pillows for my bedroom. So I'm just going to take the ones that I bought uh, for the couch and put in my bedroom this year because I actually don't have Christmas pillows so for the bedroom. But that's what happens, guys, when you can't remember what you have. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, enough rambling. I also took down all the stuff off the porch today fall-wise and put it away, and that's pretty much all we've done so far. So here's all the stuff that I brought down from the attic. And so I'm sure you guys remember it from, you know, years before. It's all the same stuff. But uh, this is my tree that I have for my bedroom. I don't know if they still have it at Walmart or not, guys. I feel like I bought this two years ago. I think it was two years ago. And I love this tree. And this goes in my bedroom. And I cannot wait to set it up. So I am going to set up the miniature trees in the bedrooms. But I'm not going to be putting the main tree up until Thanksgiving week. And I normally include that. I'll either include it in, a clean, in the cleaning video. Or I'll include it in the vlog one or the other. Because that's how I normally like to do it. But yeah. The bag has like bath mats and pillows in it. And then those are Cole's little uh, stuffed beanie things that uh, some of my mom works for actually gave Cole and then she also gave him that reindeer that Cole loves. Santa Claus, I'm not really sure. I think he come from her too if I'm being honest because I don't remember where he come from but but we haven't been able to find the light that we need for this Santa Claus. We can't find it anywhere so I don't know if they don't make it because this is like a vintage Santa Claus. I feel like it's like an older one. I don't know what year he's from but he still moves and everything if you plug him in and I'm a traditional Christmas decorator. I like traditional decor, and I'm just going to stick with that for probably, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to change out that um, decor for, like, brand new of something else. Like, I know a lot of people like neutral decor. I just like all the different colors because my house is pretty neutral any other time of the year. So, I love, I'm just a traditional decorator. And my husband likes the traditional stuff, too, so... I'm excited to decorate though. But yeah, these are the pillows that I picked up the other day from, I got these at TJ Maxx. I got a twin pack for like 20 bucks I think it was. And that's a pretty good deal in my opinion because pillows are expensive anyways. And these are really soft. They're like a velvety feel to them. 
you can take off the covers, which I love. Every pillow ought to have, needs to have that op option or I don't want it. <laughs> so you can wash them. So that makes it like really nice. But what I think I'm going to do is put these on my bed this year, um, which will probably be the start of tomorrow's video. I'll be decorating my bedroom tomorrow. I did bring out the Christmas blanket so far because I put my fall one away and I needed an extra blanket to cover up with in here. But yeah, guys, look at this plant. I got to show you guys this. Look at this thing. It is taking over my entire room. This thing is huge. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's just going to keep growing. Um, it is huge. And then my cactus over here bloomed. It's a Christmas cactus. So it already bloomed. It is so cold outside today. We had a cold front roll in after it was like 70 some degrees for like days. It's cold. <laughs> so we're going to freeze when we go trick-or-treating tonight. We're going to have to wear our long johns. And Cole, I think, is going to be Spider-Man. So we need to get his costume and stuff ready for him. I don't know what all this vlog is going to include because I'm going to be busy the next few days decorating for Christmas. And I just don't know what this vlog is going to be. <laughs> My moms did not get hit with the frost, but look how full they are. Uh, I think it's either going to frost tonight or tomorrow, so these plants are probably going to be dead, guys. By the next time you see them, they're not going to be out here. But these ferns got so pretty this year, and so did our moms. They did a really good, good job. It's actually a little warmer out now. It's probably maybe 60 degrees right now. That sun feels pretty warm. I'm not really sure what the degrees is. So it's actually not that bad, but it's going to be really chilly tonight, I know that. And then these moms here, they got bit. You can tell they're definitely not pretty anymore. And then Cole's pumpkin is shot. It needs third away. So, yeah. I'm looking like a hot mess as usual. I was going to wear this little mask. I'll show you guys later when I get ready. But this little face... Uh, masquerade mask that I bought to wear I'm not really gonna do nothing special like I don't have a costume or nothing but I just wanted to do my eye makeup and put the little mask on um, and get Cole ready that's basically good afternoon Go guys ahead. it is the next day I did not get to show Cole last night but honestly it was so hectic that I didn't get any video footage I barely did I didn't get any pictures either just because my mom had her little tailgate thing up on her. Uh, she has an Equinox Chevy car, and we rode on the back of it, and we just kind of, like, was jumping out. Cole was, like, running to people's houses. He had so much fun last night. But um, I didn't. I just didn't get a chance to, like, use any cameras for that. But I did take a picture of him on his costume, and he had me paint his face up like a spider web or something. Um, I didn't get to do the best job because he wouldn't really sit still, but overall I think he looked really cute. I did post a video, or a, not a video, a picture of him on Instagram if you follow me over there. But um, yeah, I just got done editing this video up to this point. I needed to see how much more footage I needed to film for this vlog. We're going to go fold some laundry really quick, and then we're going to have spaghetti. We're going to do spaghetti tonight. I did get my room decorated for Christmas, so you guys will see that video on Sunday. Um, I think it looks really cozy in my room right now. Um, we're actually going to go tomorrow and I might film it for you guys um, before I post this video. Do like a little shop with me because I actually need to go get Cole a Christmas tree for his room. We went to Dollar General in town. Um, that's a town that's closer to me where I live. But um, it is a hot mess express and they literally have nothing that I need when I go in there. So I wasn't able, they didn't have Christmas trees out in there. So there is another Dollar General and also a Dollar Tree down at where Walmart's at. So I actually want to go to Walmart tomorrow and check out those places maybe first before I go to Walmart. We'll see. And then I'm coming back to decorate Cole's room for Christmas and film it for you guys. And I'm also going to be doing the hallway bathroom tomorrow. So that's tomorrow's plans. Today's Wednesday. I also just booked a really exciting getaway for all three of us. The weekend, or not the weekend, the week of Thanksgiving. And I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be fun. Cole's really going to enjoy it. We actually have been there before. But we're staying in like a different place this time. We're staying in like a resort type place. Um, 
and I'm really excited. I think Cole is going to really enjoy it more this time than he has been able to enjoy it in the past. So I will share more about that whenever we go. And of course, I'll vlog our trip and everything. But it's just going to be for one night. And it's going to be why he's on Thanksgiving break. And I think it's going to be fun. So, yeah, guys, I got to go get a walk-in. I have not been exercising, guys, and I hate it so freaking much. Um, this is my new thing right now that I'm drinking, which is the cherry zero sugar drinks because they have no calories. So, they're not good for you, but whenever I want one, I don't drink them very often. But when I want one, I get one, and honestly, they don't taste that bad for not having any sugar in them. And then, um, this is my little obsession, too, that I'm addicted to these things. I try not to eat a bunch of these, either, because they're not good for you, either. But they're good, so... Yeah, I'm going to go get this walk in. It's 2.15, so um, we got to get Cole at 3.30 off the bus. Going to cook dinner. Probably won't film any more today, but I will resume and pick back up with you guys tomorrow. So, I lied to you guys. I went ahead and went down to the other town, and where I ended up finding my stuff that I needed was not Walmart, but Dollar General in the other town. So, I was going to give you guys a quick haul here, um, and then we're probably going to go ahead and end this video because I feel like... It's long enough, so um, I could film more for you guys, but I'm just going to be really busy the next few days that I don't really know what I'm going to film, so I thought what I could do is just share what I got with you guys really quick before I go back home. I haven't been gone that long. Cole got off the school bus about 10 minutes ago. My husband went and got him, so I was able to go and just go shopping by myself, which is what I like doing. I like to look at stuff. My husband's not really a shopper. Plus, when you work retail, like, your whole entire life, the last thing you want to do is go into a store. So, um, anyways, this tree I got for Cole, it was $20 at Dollar General. It is a pre-lit Christmas tree for his room. I wanted to upgrade him. You guys probably remember the little tiny tree that I actually bought from Dollar General years ago. And, um... I just felt like he's five now and I wanted to get him a tree for his room and I think he'll really enjoy it. So I found this one and I'm excited. It's a four foot tree. I think it'll be perfect for his little corner in the room. And then I'll share the other stuff really quick with you guys before I go back home. But I saw they had these little really pretty like uh, Ponsetta looking placemats either I can use them because I don't remember if I had placemats from last year guys I looked through my totes but I don't remember seeing any so we'll see if I end up using these for the bar area or not in the kitchen but they were only two dollars like two bucks and they're shiny you know and I like shiny stuff so they're fine for me they were two dollars you cannot beat it and then I got this for coal. There's a lot of traffic right now on this road and I pulled off here at this little spot but <laughs> there's probably going to be somebody that pulls in here or something. So that's why I'm trying to hurry up. But I got this six foot reindeer garland for Cole's room. It was only three dollars and I thought we could put that in there and string it up for him. And it's, I just thought it was cute for a little boy. So I got that. And then we got these cute little beads. I know these things are in right now, and a lot of people like them, especially people that like the farmhouse stuff. I think they're just cute, so I'm not really into farmhouse all the way. Like, I think some things are really pretty, and I think they're cute. So I don't really even like to label my style, guys, because like I said, here I am buying, like, these little beads. But I just think they're cute, and I think they're cute for, like, a little boy's room. So, you know, I like a variety of stuff. I just don't feel like I can just sit here and say I have one style and that's it. You know? So, I picked up these for Cole's room and I thought we could do something fun with them. But, I got him this little mailbox for a dollar that has the little truck on it. I don't know if you guys remember, but his pillow that I bought from Walmart, I think, for his bed, his like little decorative pillow that I put on there, has this truck on it. And then even the Christmas tree that we did have for him, the little miniature one that I got at Dollar General years ago, um, it had the little truck on it at the bottom too. And then I think we also have like maybe something that hangs up with a truck on it. So the little truck with the Christmas tree was kind of like his little theme there. And then it just says Merry Christmas. And he can play with this if he wants to. I don't really care. He'll probably like to put something in it. 
But I just thought it was cute. It was only a dollar. We're going to set it up in his room. And then we got the miniature bulbs. I did find these for the Christmas tree. They look so much better on those smaller trees than the big bulbs like I had before. I don't even know if I want to decorate my tree in my room because um, I just don't. I like the look of it without any bulbs. I have some picks in it. Um, I feel like I'm not focusing for you guys, but I don't know if I am or not. Um, so yeah, you get 16 bulbs for three bucks. They're supposed to be shatterproof, you know, they're just like those types of bulbs. But I picked out red because a lot of stuff in Cole's like theme is kind of red and green and white. So uh, this is a tree skirt that I picked out for his tree. Hopefully it's not too big, but I think it'll be fine. It's uh, this kind of, the material is different. It almost feels like a potato sack or something. I don't really know how to say what it feels like, but... I thought it was just simple and cute, and it was only $5 from Dollar General, so you guys need to go check out Dollar General because they do have some cute Christmas stuff out, and uh, it's really cheap, like, compared to other places. <laughs> and is that it? Okay, I think that's it, guys. That's all I picked up today, um, and like I said, most of it's for Cole's room, but... I also did get something else earlier today at the other Dollar General that I'm obsessed with, but you guys will see it in the uh, Christmas video. It's also kind of farmhousey, but it's also, I don't know, I just really like it. I don't know how to explain, but it's got like a stand on the back of it and it sits up and you can sit it either on the floor and or you could sit it up on like the kitchen counter. I think it's going to look really cute and I just really liked it, so I got it. Um... But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that we had no, like, full-on me doing, like, cleaning in this video. But I know some of you guys like when I just come on and you guys just hang out with me. We just, I just share what we're doing. Um, so thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. Be sure to go check out my cleaning channel if you have not. We are, like, three people away from 600 subscribers. So that's really exciting. But I love you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.